Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and I'm in a hotel room. I'm here in San Bruno, California, for a meeting with uh, YouTube tomorrow. And what would it be if I wasn't up late at night trying to complete a video, right? And I thought, well, what can I do? What can I do that's really quick and just something I can render and upload on really crappy hotel internet? So I thought I would do a little, not so much a tutorial, but maybe just like a, hey, look what Simplify 3D can do. And I thought this was interesting. So here we go. All right. You're now looking at a uh, little baby Groot and it's the flower pot. It's on my mini factory. And when you hit prepare to print, Simplify 3D crunches it up and then it gives you this. This is the model that you see. And once you start to preview the model, you see down here, it looks well, it looks terrible. There's something wrong with it. And it's because in this STL file, there are a bunch of surfaces that are intersecting with each other. And as Angus over at Maker's Muse says, the model wasn't fully baked. Shoot, this doesn't print well. In fact, uh, the group that I printed like this, it didn't print well and had had to be repaired in a way that I thought was interesting. A lot of people send models off to repair at NetFab or they, they can do it themselves. Simplify 3D has a thing where you can separate all of those connected surfaces together, uh, not together, but separate all the connected surfaces that are together. And then once they're apart, Simplify 3D will do the proper math to put them together. So under mesh, under mesh, there we go. Under mesh, there's something called separate connected surfaces. And when you click that, Simplify 3D is gonna take its time and it does take a little bit of time depending on how many connected surfaces there are. And it's gonna chew it up and it's gonna spit out separated uh, listings under models for all of those surfaces or meshes that it found that were connected together. It does, it does seem to take a while to crunch. I don't know exactly what's going on in the background that takes so long, but needless to say, it's just doing its thing. Maybe I won't show this part on video. I don't know. This is the exciting part. I'm in a hotel room. Bathroom's over there. There's my bed, look. It's got my pants on it. I'm wearing pants. Those are my old pants. I've got new pants on. Ah, uh, look, there we go. You can see there are a ton of these different models now. And when you start selecting and unselecting them, you can see that they're all the different parts of the model. Look, at there's some, some eyeballs. You take those out. All sorts of stuff in this in this model. So now what we can do is let's make sure everything is checked that I just unchecked just to show it off. We can use these models here and Simplify 3D will apply its own calculations to the models to put them together. So now when I hit prepare to print, it doesn't take that long as, or as long as it did to separate them. Now when you scroll through, you see, ah, oh, look, they're all the same surface. They're all the same model. Simplify 3D has taken all of these surfaces and put them together, giving you a much better model. That's kind of exciting, right? All right, here's another proof of concept. Let's get rid of all of these. Go, go, go. Remove models. Go, go, go. There we go. I'm going to bring in a model that I like. It is Hellboy's right hand of doom. <laughs> it's pretty big on the build plate. This is the G Max build plate and this is the, the big model. So what I'm going to do on X is I'm going to rotate it minus 90 degrees and then I'm going to center and arrange. So when we slice this model, you're going to see that all of the knuckles are actually separate from the hand itself. Once the G-code preview comes up, at least you'll see that. Go, go, there we go, good. I'm afraid I was gonna have to start singing again. So when you scroll through, oh, look, right there. Never mind that this is a whole bunch of infill that isn't needed, but I want you to see right here. 
So it's going to start doing those knuckles. And where the knuckles intersect with the hand, there is a void. And you can see that when printing out, there's a separation here. So these would actually print and most likely fall off. Uh, there should be, and there's one more right there. So now what we can do, we can go back, let's zoom out. We can go back, go mesh, go separate connected surfaces. Uh, Simplify 3D is going to crunch this up. It may not take as long because there are less individual surfaces in this model that it has to crunch. I don't know the answer to that. We'll see what happens. It is giving me the Windows 10 spinner of doom. Um, maybe I'll start singing again. I don't know the answer to that. Go, 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 simplify 3D, crunch that model, go, 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 go. It's really taking a long time. I honestly don't know why this procedure takes so long for Simplify 3D to do. Maybe Simplify 3D will see it. I don't know. But look at this. We have all of these separate models. And if we uncheck those, look at the, the knuckles are gone. So this adds them back in. And if you want to see just the knuckles, here we go. So you can see that when the person designed this, they use these cylinders and then put some texture on them. But here's the important part. Let's prepare to print. Simplify 3D is going to slice up the model. It's going to get it ready for printing and hopefully combine these in a way that uh, works for printing. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's an airplane going on outside. That's kind of exciting. As we do this, ready, ready, ready. Ah, oh, look at that. Let's zoom in. So you can see that Simplify 3D has done its own calculations to put the surfaces together in a way that combine them for 3D printing and printing out this very large right hand of doom would actually succeed. So that's kind of cool. So that's interesting. That's uh, something that, this is something that you can do uh, when, when you have a model that may not be working correctly or if the surfaces are joined in the STL but not baked properly. Just separate connected surfaces in Simplify 3D. And once they're separate and listed all as separate models, then hit the prepare to print button and Simplify 3D's renderer and, and slicer will put it all together in the way that it should be put together. There's a million different ways to do this, but I just wanted to tell you the way that Simplify 3D does it. That's kind of cool. So anyway, there you go. There's a quick tip from me while in a hotel room in San Bruno, California, waiting to meet with YouTube tomorrow. Thanks for everything. I hope uh, I hope you enjoyed this quick little episode. Don't forget to hug each other more because I love you guys. As always, high five.